For Teresa Sal, the Siva Samoa is more than just a dance. It's the connection to my grandmother. Um, I feel like it's a gift that she gave to me. It's the strongest way for me to connect with my cultural identity. After moving to Australia from New Zealand three years ago, Ms Sal says she was homesick, longing for a sense of community, but unsure about where to look. You would see brown faces, but there was still that, where do I go to get that community connection? Last year, Ms Sal and a small group of volunteer tutors set out to change that, creating the largest cultural dance school on the Gold Coast. I told them that Vasa, Va, sa, va, the space, sa, sacred. That sacred space is what we were creating here on the Gold Coast, the space to connect this Gold Coast to that island in the Pacific Ocean. Preparations are underway for their biggest event yet. 15 weeks, every Sunday for three hours. It's all led up to this fifth year night. And so everyone is super excited, super nervous, but it's just gonna be one big celebration and we can't wait. It's an opportunity to educate second and third generation Samoans. I've been here for nearly 15 years now and Vasa is pretty much, what is it? Um, you know, unless you were teaching your children what, what we knew in our home, you know, that was going to be it for them. Last year's concert plans were derailed by coronavirus, forcing the students to perform in front of a camera in an empty auditorium. This year, they're entertaining an audience of more than 900 people. Seven-year-old Panina Chanboon is taking centre stage. I'm dancing in front of everyone and being the taupo. It's special to me and the part of my culture and dancing with my friends and all my cousins. She understood who she was, she understood where she came from, her roots, and she could confidently talk about uh, her Samoan culture with others. Carrying forward ancient traditions for the generations to come. Melissa Macon, ABC News, Gold Coast.